Hello. Oh, so um, I've been home for a week now. Love it. So happy I'm home. Um, I am back on oxygen. We're thinking that it's caused from me being up on my feet way more than um, when I was in the hospital and was off of oxygen. And they're like, yay, you don't need oxygen anymore. Not true. Um, I was only on my feet about four and a half hours every day in the hospital. And the rest of the time I had therapy while I was sitting up in bed or in the lazy boy. So um, that's the difference I'm seeing. Every time I stand up, my oxygen again goes boop. So bummer because I had called and said, come pick up my oxygen and I'm off of it. Nope, gotta cancel that order. So it's okay, it is what it is. I am getting a, an appointment to a pulmonologist because I'm feeling like, and another doctor had said this too, that it's respiratory. Um, when I'm asked to do really simple tasks, I'm not paying attention to how my breathing is because it's now just become second nature. So there are some times where I feel like it's normal. And then um, one of my, my OT was like, do you hear yourself? You're winded from tying your shoe. That's not normal. So anyway, we're gonna get that checked out going to a laryngologist in June. We're going to get the muscles checked out and he's going to be putting in Botox possibly here to paralyze the muscle as well as here and here and maybe here and here. So I'm just kidding. I'm terrified of the pain. So there's no way I would do that. Anyway, um, and embrace your wrinkles, right? Who cares? So anyway, we're gonna do that and also go and see a thyroid specialist because of those masses, they may need to be removed. And um, you know, if there's even a 1% chance that that's causing this and there's very little risk in removing them, they're out because I will try anything to get rid of this. However, this is a benefit to getting massages and not feeling guilty about it. So I'm going in tomorrow for my first massage. We're gonna try out this person out in Lehigh and see how she does. There are so many people that do massage from their home. So I'll just be testing out new people and seeing which one I like best. So kind of excited about that. Okay, two things. One, I had my very good friend come over with her yummy little two-year-old. Oh, he was precious. So I love little kids. I've always loved little kids. Like I loved babysitting. I would do little activity days on my friend's driveway for all the little neighborhood kids to come when I was little. I've just loved little kids. So because I know that my best friends are coming up with their little girl and we're celebrating her second birthday, I have changed my guest room into her room. I can't say much more than that because my friends are watching and it's going to be a surprise. But when my other friend's little two-year-old came yesterday, needless to say, he was entertained for about, I believe 90 minutes in that room. So it is toddler approved, which I'm very excited about. But the whole time I was sitting there Indian style on the floor, my zipper was undone. Yep, like puckered open, not just like, oh, that's kind of embarrassing. No, it's like, oh, that's embarrassing. Whatever. She said she didn't notice because she's a gracious friend, but my husband noticed right away when I walked up and I'm like, I had the best visit. He's like, your zipper is open. I'm like, no. So that was kind of funny. Second thing, um, we were pulling up to the American Fork post office to drop off um, packages. We do that every day because um, of our business, except for Sundays. So we're pulling up yesterday. We have the handicap placard hanging from the rear view mirror and there's me with the oxygen. <laughs> so my husband gets out of the car and closes the door and I'm not quite hearing everything, but I'm hearing him go, what? There's some tough looking dude that is parked across from us, basically giving my husband, reading my husband the riot act, saying, do you know that's a parking spot for handicapped? And he said, yes, I do. And do you know my wife is handicapped? Do you have a problem with it? <laughs> I'm really glad he said that because 
That was just pure nosiness. So the dude is walking up all tough and bothered that we're in the handicapped parking spot until my husband, they stop in front of the car and I'm like, what is going on? And my husband points to me and the handicap placard visibly dangling from our rear view mirror. And the dude just shrunk to this big as I'm sitting in the front seat going, <laughs> so <laughs> lesson to be learned there. Don't be nosy, mind your beeswax, right? Anyway, that guy, dude, he went in and he was still saying stuff and was trying to backpedal. And anyway, it was very interesting. I'm so proud of my husband for sticking up for us. That was just great, dude, mind your business. So he like, I mean, booked it to his big old lifted truck, got in and peeled out of there before we could leave. So anyway, I was asking my husband updates and he's like, oh, he just, he felt so small because none of your business. Yes, we're parked there. We're fine. Thank you. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. All right. Love you guys. I will update when there's more to update, but just still got this going on heavy duty and using oxygen. That's about it. Walking is still great. So, all right. Love you guys. We'll talk soon.